A reverse percentage is when a percentage change has already happened. So in this example, a shop has already decreased its prices by 15%. We can't work out 15% in the normal way of finding 10% and 5% because taking 15% off and adding it back on won't give you the same result. So imagine I had £100. If I had £100, if I took 10% off, I would get, take away £10, I'd get £90. But then if I added 10% back onto that, 10% of this is £9, so I'd get £99. So adding 10% on and taking 10% off, they're not the same thing. So what we've got to do is we've got to recognize what percent we've got. So if the price had been decreased by 15%, that means I've got 100% minus 15%. So what I've actually got is 85%. So 55 pounds 25 is actually 85 85%. Then if I want to find 1% from here, I divide it by 85. So if I want to find 1%, I take this number and I divide it by 85. So if I do that in the calculator, 55 pound 25 divide by 85, press the SD button, I get 0 0.65, 0 pound 65p. And to find the original price, I want, that's 100%, I times it by 100. So this times 100 is 65 pounds. So the original price was 65 pounds. The price of a car increased by 12% to 10,080 pounds. Calculate the price before the increase. So it's increased by 12%. So we've got 100% plus 12%. We've got 112%. So this amount here, 10080, is 112%. So we find 1% by dividing by 112. So I take this number in the calculator, divide it by 112, and that gives me 90 pounds. Then if I want to find 100%, I times by 100. So 90 times 100 is 9,000 pounds. So that's the answer. Okay, pause the video and have a go at this one. So, shops decrease prices by 12.5%. Okay, so the price have gone down by 12.5%. So, we've got 100% take off 12.5%. So, we have got 87.5%. So, £70 is equal to 87.5%. I find 1% by dividing by 87.5. So 70 divided by 87.5 is 0 0.8 or 80p. And then if I times that by 100, that's gonna give me 80 pounds. So the original price was 80 pounds.